Welcome to the podcast, where we delve into the world of suspense and adventure with best-selling author Steve Barker, whose Covert Ops trilogy has captivated readers with intricate plots, compelling characters, and heart-pumping action. Hi, Steve. Thanks for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's a pleasure to be here. Let's start with the inspiration behind the Covert Ops trilogy. What sparked your interest in writing about skilled operatives working for money, and how did you develop the concept into a three-book series? Well, I have always been fascinated by espionage, covert operations, and special forces. The blend of danger, secrecy, and adrenaline draws me to this genre. I wanted to create a group of characters who were not only highly trained and skilled but also flawed, human, and relatable. That's why I gave each of them a unique backstory and personality that shapes their actions and decisions throughout the series. The plot evolved as I wrote each book, but I knew from the beginning that I wanted to explore themes of trust, loyalty, betrayal, and redemption. Your novels are known for their realistic portrayal of covert operations. What's your writing process like, and how do you ensure you're accurately portraying things? For me, research is everything. I spend much time researching different aspects, including other technologies and tactics. I also spend time talking to people who have experience in that world. I want to ensure that I get things right so that my novels are thrilling and realistic. Speaking of characters, let's talk about the main protagonists of the series, Steve, Simon, and George. How did you approach their development, and what challenges did you face in creating distinctive and believable personalities for each? I approached their development by giving them a backstory that would justify their involvement in the covert ops world. Steve, for example, has a military background and suffers from PTSD, which informs his behavior and decision making. Simon is a former tank commander who also has PTSD. The team utilizes his transport skills. Like the other two, George is a former dog handler and trained sniper and has PTSD. I wanted to create a sense of unity within the team, highlighting their camaraderie and mutual respect. The challenge was to make them all flawed but likable, complex but understandable, and to show how their experiences shaped their personality and actions. Mental health issues, especially PTSD, are a significant theme in your novels. Can you tell us more about why you included this in your work? Having PTSD, from my time in the army. I already knew from experience what challenges people with military PTSD. I wanted to explore how being a covert operative can impact someone's mental health. It's not an easy job and can take a toll on a person. I wanted to show how that can affect the characters and their relationships. But more importantly, I wanted to shine a light on the reality of PTSD in our society. It's an issue that affects so many people and we need to talk about it and understand it better. How has the response been to that aspect of your work? I've gotten some positive feedback from readers impacted by the portrayal of mental health in my novels. Many people have told me that it's helped them understand someone in their life struggling with PTSD. And that's exactly what I was hoping for, to shine a light on these issues and to start conversations. That's great to hear. So, you've written quite a few books in the Covert Ops series. Any favorites? That's like asking me which one of my children is my favorite. But in all seriousness, I'm proud of all the books in the series. Each one has something unique to offer. Let's discuss the challenges of writing a standalone adventure that ties into a larger arc. How did you balance giving each book a satisfying resolution while advancing the plot and setting up the next installment? It was a delicate balancing act, indeed. From the start, I knew I wanted the trilogy to have a cohesive storyline that would span across all the books in the series, and provide each book with its resolution and climax. So, I had to plan the overall arc carefully while ensuring each book had its own subplot, villain, and theme. It was a challenge to weave them together, but it was also a rewarding experience to see how each book built upon the previous one and revealed more about the characters. Let's switch gears and talk about the process of publishing and marketing with Green Cat Books. How did you find a publishing house that fit your vision and goals for the Covert Ops trilogy, and what advice would you give to aspiring authors looking to get traditionally published? 
I was fortunate to connect with Green Cat Books, a small independent publisher. They were enthusiastic about my manuscript and shared my vision for the series. They offered me a fair contract, editorial support, and a marketing strategy that suited my budget and target audience. I advise aspiring authors to be persistent, patient, and professional when querying agents or publishers. Research the market, read the submission guidelines, and tailor your pitch to each recipient. Keep improving your writing, networking with other authors, and building your platform. Keep going if you receive rejections, as it's part of the process. What can your fans expect from your future work? I'm working on a new novel set in the same world as the Covert Ops series, but it has a different twist. I don't want to spoil anything, but I'm excited about its direction. That's excellent advice. Let's wrap up with a sneak peek into any upcoming projects or plans for the Covert Ops world. Is a future spin-off, prequel, or continuation of the series possible? I am working on a new project in the Covert Ops universe, but with the same characters, Steve, Simon, George, Derek and Lucy and a different mission. Like the first three, it's a standalone thriller that explores a darker and grittier side of the Covert Ops world. But at the same time, they connected. I have no plans for a spin-off or a prequel, but I'm always open to the possibility if the story and the characters demand it. I'm excited about this new venture and hope readers will enjoy it as much as they did the trilogy. Thank you, Steve, for sharing your insights and experiences as an author. We wish you all the best with your current and future projects and look forward to reading more of your exhilarating stories. Thank you. It was great to be here.